Hello friends, welcome back to All on Law. Today's topic of discussion is quick differences between typical pneumonia, typical pneumonia and atypical pneumonia. Okay? And this is very important for medical students also. Okay, let's start on this without wasting much time. Typical pneumonia, atypical pneumonia. Okay? TP typical, atypical pneumonia. Okay? So, what's the prodrome? How does it start? It's less than two days. So, it's going to be very severe. So, it's going to start after three days. Starts with headache, malaise, body ache. Okay? Myalgia, right? Fatigue. What about the temperature, fever? What about the fever? It's a more than one or two. Okay. Here it's a low grade. Less than one or two. What will be the age? It's gonna be more than 40 years usually. That's why we vaccinate them with the pneumococcal vaccination. Okay, here it will be usually less than 40 years. Okay. What about the most common organism? that causes this disease is nothing but strep pneumonia because it's a bacteria right strep pneumonia and here we have a viruses or some other bacteria like mycoplasma chlamydia hemophilus okay what's an anti what do you call it? what's a chest radiography the chest radiograph how does it show in a typical pneumonia, one distinct lobe is involved. Okay, if this is a lung, one distinct lobe is involved. Okay, whereas this in here, here, it's a diffuse or multiple involvement. Okay, you can see multiple involvement, right? So these are the important features that differentiate whether it's a typical or a typical pneumonia. Sorry for that. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.